Hello everyone, Shinto Bean here with some more Warhammer Combat cards, and this time I'm actually watching myself play a game. This video I actually found in my archive. I was looking through my YouTube channel, just curious about how many videos I've done up to date, and I've actually done over 400 videos. It's crazy. 400 videos over the space of two years. It's a lot more than I was expecting. And I was just looking through the oldest ones, and this was one of them. Um, and I just wanted to see how different the game was way back in the day. I'm not sure the exact date that I recorded this, but I think it was maybe about a year into the game. So here I'm playing, uh, I think, rank mode. Look at how slow that is, the, the first opening sequence where they're taking the initiative. So a lot of things were indeed different. You can see here the uh, deployment. Everything just deployed at once on the enemy side, and then we're deploying on our side. You can see the damage going off there. Uh, that looked different. It looks really weird with the little the number just floating up like that. Caster the Damned, that Dreadnought, he had Taunt uh, before instead of Berserk. So yeah, this, way back uh, at this point in time, there were only uh, a few traits in the game. A lot fewer than there are now. Uh, so I think about half the cards in the game have like Furious Charge or precision shot. Like Cave, uh, Kai Van Shrike over there on the left side, he's got outflank now of course, but he had furious charge. Um, and also the traits themselves didn't actually unlock until higher levels. Let's see Shadow Sun deploying there, and there's the, the beautiful animation for the uh, ranged buff. Yeah, I, I gotta say the, the animations have definitely improved a lot since uh, these days. So yeah, of course, no barrage on the broadside battle suit there. Um, and yeah, I think these cards are at a uh, low enough... They're, they're too low for level to have unlocked their traits yet. So that's how it was back in the day. Like, common cards didn't unlock their trait until like level 5, I think it was. So uh, they then changed that so that pretty much everything got their trait, either immediately, like at level 1, or at latest level 2. And it's a lot better that way because, you know, you can start using those units for the role that they're supposed to uh, perform. So a lot of quality of life uh, enhancements that they've uh, improved since then. Uh, people who are new to the game, of course, will not know about the, this history, I think. And actually, a lot of these older videos of mine, they have like hardly any views. And they're on my channel. Um, so like this, vi actually this video is uh, one of the ones that I never actually uh, released to the public, but I do have uh, videos that are over two years old that only have like less than 100 views. Um, but yeah, I think we're, we're playing one more match here, and I'm curious to see what this one's going to look like. Maybe we'll get to see a, f a few more units and what kind of traits they had back in the day. Looks like we're playing against Zephyr Blade, and there again is the very slow crawl of the the cards as they're counting the initiative. All right, what's deploying? Okay, we got uh, Howling Banshee. It's got fear, and then yeah, we've got a Furious Charge there. So once again, deploying the Dreadnought with Taunt. Taunt is just such a bad card, or such such a bad trait on you know, a card of that size. I'm glad they finally moved away from that. And we'll see the fear go off here, I think, which looked a lot different way back in the day. Uh, it actually, yeah, it affects the entire board. And it happens after deployment. So it was like that for a while. It, it would just debuff uh, everything, I think, for just a turn. Or no, it was, oh, it was for just one attack is, I think, how it was. You can see there the fear disappeared after my units attacked, which is kind of weird. It's like, why, why why, are they suddenly not afraid after attacking anymore? It makes no sense. So, yeah, they changed the way the fear works. And we've got the cards attacking here, uh, killing everything. On the field, uh, they do have a lot more bodyguards this time, so we'll get to see a few more of these old Eldar units. Uh, all these units with no traits, and oh, there's the little Jukari, uh, what is it, little biker dude, and he had precision shot. He's got outflank now, of course. Uh, you can see there, yeah, the 
the Drukari on the right side, uh, he's got uh, fear now. And there's the pain engine. Now these cards are at pretty low level. But yeah, we're just going... This deck that I had is not a very good one. I think I had, what, five bodyguards with Watch Captain Artemis? And most of them are just like melee. Not sure what I was going for here. Seemed to be working, at least for these matches. Jane Czar used to have a, a first, or no, Furious Charge, and then the Solitaire actually used to have Fear, as you can see there. Big attack, though. Very big melee attack from their end, but not enough to actually break through the ranks of these Space Marines. And, yeah, the Fear just went away. Again, after one uh, turn, it's just so weird. So, yeah, um... I don't know if we'll actually get to look at the collection at all here. Um, wow, this game is just running so... I think I was running this on um, my old phone and recording it on there. And I had the little, like, you can see in the top left, of the recording timer there. Here comes the Warlord with Scout. Uh, that hasn't changed by the looks of it. Uh, we've got some more fear here. We'll see where the damage goes from this. And it is four damage to the Jane's are Wow, beautiful. Oh, I th I think um, around this time I did a video entitled "The Worst Warlord in the Game," and it was Watch Captain Artemis. He was pretty bad. Um, I mean, he's still not like that amazing, I don't think. But but yeah, he was he was really bad for a while. But we're still able to win here and taking him down before they get a chance to retaliate. So yeah, the, the counter, or the, the timer's running down on this video, we're about to end pretty soon. Uh, it's also taking a while for it to like, get to the, the victory screen, as you can see there. But yeah, let me know if you've actually seen if any of this old footage um, from the way that the game used to be, and, and let me know what you think about, you know, how the game looks in this video compared to how it does now. Um, again, a lot of things have changed. There are a lot more traits now. The animations look better. Uh, the game, actually, the game speed has was increased a little bit, so it's just more uh, smoother. And uh, obviously, a lot more cards in the game now. So, yep, that's it for this one. Let me know if you'd like to see more of these, and I will see you next time.